Man, they gonna fuck around and get me motherfucking copyrighted with this music. Um, the fight is tomorrow, obviously. Right now it's October the 26th, uh, 2018. I covered the other way in, so my video is not exactly live, but it is 1.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I can imagine a way in probably, oh, shit. Mission, Dervianchenko! One fifty nine point four for Dervianchenko, and now his opponent with thirty four victories, including twenty nine by knockout and only two defeats, from Brooklyn, New York, the former WBA middleweight champion of the world, Daniel Miracle Man Jacobs. One fifty nine point six for Jacobs. One fifty nine point six. I wonder if they're going to do a uh, day of weigh in for the uh, IBF. We all know the story how he skipped it for Golovkin and didn't fight for the IBF title. I wonder if they're going to do away with that. In my opinion, there should be a day of weigh in for all of the uh, sanctioning bodies. You know, to f keep the fighters from you know, like walking around around to you know, heavy during fight week and things like that. But whatever. Um, it's a it's a solid card if you understand the politics behind all of the fights. For example, it's going to open up with uh, Heather uh, Hardy versus uh, Shelly Vincent. Then you're going to have Alberto Machado versus um, Yondell uh, Evans for the WBA world title. And then, of course, this, Danny Jacobs and uh, Sergey Derevianchenko, two guys that have trained and sparred with each other that are fighting for... Um, a vacant title in the hopes that it's going to get them to a bigger fight. But Danny Jacobs is also fighting not only for a title, but for a contract on the zone. We've seen Canelo get that big deal uh, last week. Levin uh, fight $365 million. Uh, Some are speculating that Danny Jacobs could get around 50 or so. You know, I wonder if they're going to do an uh, interview with him. I'm going to actually be out there for this fight. So I'm, on, I'm going to be doing the same thing I'm doing when I usually do my post-fight videos, except I'm going to actually uh, be taking my laptop. So I'm going to have this format, but from Madison Square Garden in a, uh, you know, travel format. So basically instead of, you know, the bottom screen and the top screen, I'm probably going to just have one, you know, maybe nothing, maybe just one little thing scrolling up at the top. Uh, you know, uh, video quality, uh, 360p. Since we're going to be on the road, I want to know if they're going to do a uh, uh, a post fight in a post way in interview with my man. Damn, we ain't going to hear from Danny Jacobs. Well, the options for him are, you know, if he wins Canelo, they're already talking about it. You know, um, there's all there were already the um discussions. He's got to look good tomorrow night because. He's not only fighting for Canelo, but he needs a big contract because the zone is not pay-per-view. You know, I know they're already in discussions for a contract for him. I know it. I wonder how much it is. You think it's going to be some shocking ass shit like uh, um, uh, five years, 100 million to have motherfuckers like Jamel, Charles, Jamal, Charles looking like what the fuck? What the fuck? Some people saying 50. Like five years, fifty million or forty million or some shit. The zone got that money. What if they keep his contract confidential? I don't know, cause you know our Eddie Hearn. Oh, he great. This whoever this guy is, he's about to get naked. Those towels ain't big enough. You know what? I don't like the way this is looking. I don't. Yeah, I don't like these odds. I don't. We are not going down this route. I am T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy live. Please subscribe.